What if the way your loved one sleeps is quietly destroying their brain? Over 60% of seniors unknowingly practice sleep habits that may speed up brain damage. Night after night, most think their routine is normal. But research shows certain bedtime behaviors can quietly shrink memory regions, disrupt brain cleansing, and accelerate cognitive decline. And by the time symptoms appear, the damage is often permanent. In this video, you'll uncover seven sleep habits that may trigger rapid dementia, especially in aging parents and loved ones. Stick around, because by the end, you'll know exactly what to watch for to help protect their brain before it's too late. Let's begin. Number one, sleeping with the TV or lights on. Wayne, 75, had been sleeping with the TV on every night, almost his entire life. Most of the day, he even left the ceiling lights on all night, right through to the morning. But three years before his Alzheimer's disease diagnosis, his wife noticed something strange. Wayne began waking up agitated, confused about what day it was, and sometimes talked back to the characters on TV. Over time, his behavior worsened. One night, he was caught trying to butter a remote control, insisting it was his morning toast. That moment finally convinced his family to seek professional help, and his doctor later confirmed what they feared. The damage had already started. Experts confirm that artificial light exposure during sleep, especially from screens, disrupts melatonin production, which is essential for memory consolidation and brain detox. For seniors, whose melatonin levels are already lower with age, this disruption can lead to sleep fragmentation, memory lapses, and accelerated brain aging. Studies also link nighttime light exposure to higher rates of cognitive decline and dementia in older adults. If someone you love is sleeping with the TV or nightlight on, it may feel harmless, but it could be quietly aging their brain while they sleep. New dementia videos daily. Feel free to subscribe. Number two, taking sleep medications. At 67, Teresa started taking Zolpidem, Ambien, every night to help her insomnia. She had already been a constant Benadryl user, but after her husband passed, she needed something stronger. But over the next year, her family noticed she was becoming sluggish during the day. She began forgetting names and confusing familiar faces. Then at one family dinner, she told everyone the same story three times in 15 minutes. Her daughter finally pushed for a memory evaluation, and later Teresa was diagnosed with mixed dementia, both Alzheimer's and vascular dementia. Her doctor strongly suspected that her constant sleep aid use had played a role for the last two years. A major study revealed that seniors who regularly use sleep medications, especially antihistamines, or benzodiazepines have a significantly higher risk of dementia. These drugs interfere with neurotransmitters involved in memory and reduce deep sleep, which is when the brain clears out toxic waste. Worse, seniors metabolize these drugs more slowly, meaning the cognitive side effects can quietly build up over time. Sleep meds might promise rest, but for aging brains, they may come at the cost of long-term memory. Number three, excessive daytime napping. Two years before his Lewy body dementia diagnosis, 80-year-old Frank started falling asleep in his recliner every afternoon. At first, his wife brushed it off, thinking it was normal for his age. But over time, those naps stretched to two or three hours, and as they grew longer, so did his confusion he'd wake up unsure what time or day it was. Once, he made coffee at midnight, thinking it was morning. Another time, he walked outside in his pajamas at 1 a.m., convinced he had to catch the school bus. That's the day his family scheduled a cognitive screening. The results confirmed what they already feared. Research shows that seniors who nap excessively, especially for more than two hours a day, face a much higher risk of cognitive decline. Long daytime sleep can disrupt the brain's internal clock, leading to poor nighttime sleep, memory consolidation issues, 
and even brain shrinkage over time. In many older adults, increased napping is both a symptom and a trigger, making the decline even faster. Short naps are healthy, but when seniors sleep more during the day than at night, it's a red flag for brain health. That number isn't just a statistic, it's a warning. In many cases, the decline begins with everyday habits that seem harmless, especially at bedtime. Not all at once, but night after night, the damage adds up. These aren't just routines, they're risks, ones that quietly wear down the brain until something breaks. If you catch someone you love doing these sleep habits, stop them, because waiting for memory loss is already too late. Let's move on. Number four, alcohol before bed. Elizabeth, 70, had been pouring herself a glass of wine every night before bed for years. But after her dog passed, she increased it to two, sometimes three. Her son noticed but didn't stop her, understanding she was grieving. As the months went on, she began slurring her words at odd times of day and once accused her son of stealing money she had actually given him days earlier. The moment that finally broke the illusion was when she poured wine into a potted plant and spoke to it convinced it was her lost dog. Her son pushed for a full neurological evaluation and the results confirmed the damage couldn't be undone. Elizabeth was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia and was just 72 years old. Experts confirm that alcohol before bed suppresses deep sleep, the very stage needed to cleanse the brain of toxins tied to Alzheimer's and other dementias. It also disrupts REM cycles and lowers overall sleep quality, which accelerates memory loss, especially in older adults. For seniors, even moderate drinking before bed can be far more harmful than it seems. It may feel like a harmless nightcap, but for the aging brain, it's fuel for decline. Number five, irregular sleep schedule. At 77, Eugene had never kept a regular bedtime. He stayed up past midnight watching old war documentaries almost every night. But two years before he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, things began to shift. Eugene started missing important appointments and confusing people he had known for decades. The turning point came when he drove to church on a Wednesday evening, wearing pajamas. His family finally sought professional evaluation and they blamed themselves for not acting sooner. Studies warn that inconsistent sleep patterns disrupt the brain's circadian rhythm, essential for memory formation and cognitive function. When that rhythm is broken, the brain's memory center, hippocampus, struggles to encode and store information. Seniors with irregular sleep schedules show faster brain aging, higher levels of confusion, and a greater risk of dementia. A drifting sleep routine might not seem serious, but for the aging brain, it creates chaos where there should be structure. Number six, untreated sleep apnea. Three years before her diagnosis with vascular dementia at age 74, Charlotte's snoring had become almost violent. She gasped, choked, and often woke herself up mid-breath. But whenever her daughter mentioned seeing a doctor, she'd wave it off. Over time, Charlotte began forgetting familiar faces and losing track of days and time. Once, she was even caught boiling a sponge, thinking it was a potato. After a full neurological evaluation, specialists believed oxygen loss during sleep had quietly accelerated her decline. Research suggests that untreated sleep apnea triples the rate of brain atrophy in regions critical for memory. Every time breathing pauses during sleep, oxygen drops and inflammation rises, damaging blood vessels and accelerating cognitive decline. Seniors with sleep apnea are at significantly higher risk for dementia, even if they feel fine during the day. If your loved one snores, gasps, or struggles with daytime sleepiness, don't ignore it. The brain might be paying the price overnight. Number seven, late night eating. At 69, Daryl had developed a habit of eating late at night before bed. 
It started with just a snack or two, but grew into full meals, sandwiches, entire bags of potato chips, even reheated lasagna at 11.30 p.m. His wife thought it was just his way of coping with retirement. But over the next two years, Daryl slowly became more confused and forgetful during the day, often losing track of time and what he was doing. The final straw was when he got up at 2 a.m. and started making spaghetti, insisting guests were coming for dinner. After a neurological exam, doctors diagnosed him with Alzheimer's and his wife regretted not acting sooner. Experts confirm that eating too close to bedtime, especially sugary or starchy foods, can disrupt insulin function and block the brain's overnight repair processes. Sleep is when the brain clears waste and restores memory circuits. But when the digestive system is active, this restorative cycle is impaired. Seniors who regularly snack late at night face higher risks of cognitive inflammation and memory decline. If someone you love eats before bed out of habit, not hunger, it might be costing them more than they realize. These sleep habits may seem harmless, but they can quietly damage the brain over time. If someone you love does any of these, help them make a change now. Because once the dementia symptoms start, it may already be too late to undo the damage. And there you have it. What are your thoughts? Next, dive into this video for more essential tips to transform your health and help you thrive. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching Healthy End, and we'll see you there.